Welcome, my name is Tyrion Lannister. Alright folks, we have a brand new update today, and it is a doozy. So, let's dive right in. So, according to this update, there are a few new things that have been added. We have a new universal material for battle-related equipment. There's also a new building speed-up item. And then we've added the strategic skills for dragons. This means the dragons will be used in the Siege of Winterfell. Um, they also apparently have changed some of the rewards for um, Alliance Mobilization, Rattler's Trial, the Commissions event, and then also the weekly active chests. So definitely really intrigued by that. Um, you know, always better rewards is going to be good. And then they've improved the rewards for defeating rebel leaders and added these universal drops. Um, definitely, I will go through those in a second. I have some examples to show us. And then there are just some changes to Siege of Winterfell. Um, I'll do a whole video about Siege of Winterfell once it starts and all the changes that have been made. But basically, all the commanders have gotten rebalanced, and new skills, and everything else. Also, dragons are now in it, like we said before, and kind of adding those in. So definitely excited, lots and lots that have been changed. And let's just dive right in. So we're gonna start with this universal material and the rebel drops. So what I've done is I've done some rebel hits in the last like you know day since this update's been out. And as you can see, um, I feel like this is a pretty solid drop. I've got five of the new battle equipment plus my three bonus ones from having the uh, honor token. So I got eight total um, in this one hit. Um, other times, you don't get any um, of the new special material, which, again, I'll explain that new special material in a second, but I got eight here, and then none on this one. Um, you know, this one, again, I got nothing, but I did, I will note, I got a gold. This, I only hit level fives, by the way. I got a gold material here, which is pretty good. Not really a helpful gold material, and I didn't get anything above green in these two. Um, and this one... You know, we've got about three, so it seems like, you know, not a ton. I think uh, sometimes you'll get zero. I think the most I've ever gotten is like eight, um, but you don't really get a ton of these, and I don't really see a noticeable difference in the rest of the drops. Still randomly we'll get lucky. They've got a blue here, but none of the universal material. Um, one of the universal material and a purple. Uh, four. And we got some, well, this is good, and love you know, two, two, 24 hour speed ups is good. I uh, got a purple and a gold, which is pretty good. Of course, they're not of any material that I need, but this one I got seven. That's pretty, that's pretty good. That's about as, as good as it normally gets. Uh, nothing here, four, and nothing here. I did a few before. We've got 10, I think that's the best. 10 is the best I've ever done with that. Um, five, six, uh, got a gold and then a one and a four one and I think this is back before the update so comparing that to what was going on before the update not getting a lot of drops um, at all so definitely I mean I think you could definitely argue that it's been improved um, so I'll take that you know I'll take the improvement definitely all right so what is the deal with this new uh, material that we've been getting um, I mean, Go to it. So what is it called? It says it's the Battle Equipment General Material, and it can be converted into any material of the Storm Rage, Sun Spear, or Frost set at the Blacksmith. So let's go to our Blacksmith and see what exactly this is talking about. So it's important to note that this isn't like something that's in your inventory. If you go to your chest, it's not anywhere here. The only way to access it is if you go to the Blacksmith and you go to forge something. So let's say I'm like... You know, I want to reforge some some frost something, okay? I would go to the Marble Whale Oil Bowl. I would say I, you know, I'm either combining, dismantling, or converting. So let's just go ahead and convert this, convert this. And then if I want to, sorry, that was combining. If I want to convert, I go to this screen, and then I see, okay, I've got 118 of these battle equipments. I need to get one more whale oil bowl and it actually doesn't let me convert until i have enough to convert all of them so because i only have 118 that's not enough to make an entire gold material i will say that i'm a little bit worried because the truth is that i don't actually need an entire gold um just for you know to understand this is going to give me one gray so what this uh, what this requires is you know one four sixteen sixty four two hundred and fifty four i think is the right number i could be wrong but it's something like that whatever four times sixty four is sounds about right two hundred fifty four or something like that 
Okay, so I need 254 of these materials in order to get a gold material, but I'm hoping that it will incorporate in however many of these blue, purple, green, and gray I have and only make me do the difference instead of getting an entire gold piece. But we'll certainly have to see. Um, I don't have any that are any closer than that. Um, actually, we'll see. Is this closer? Um, it might be. Yeah, no, it still won't let me. So actually, let's do the math real quick. I have 64 and 64. So this is, uh, I need 64, and then 32 would be 90. Yeah, so I actually should have enough. If it was letting me do it, I would have enough. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate. So it is going to make me convert an entire gold piece. Hopefully that gets changed. Um, I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to kind of help you and save it, but I actually would have enough if I can convert 118 into this to get that fourth gold piece with the uh, pieces I already have. But it is what it is. Definitely really excited about this. It's going to help people get this equipment so much faster. You can turn it into whatever you want. If you want it to be main material, you can use it as main material. If you want it to be secondary material, you can. Um, I'm definitely going to use it for secondary material since, you know, I, that's really what I need more so than anything else. Um, but this is good. It's going to mean that people are going to be finishing their Kingsguard sets to gold that much quicker. I expect this is going to make it really easy to get. Um, and I, I don't know, I think that with the introduction of something like this, I'm kind of expecting them to, I don't know, add something new to equipment just because everyone's going to get it maxed to gold and then have nothing else to do with it. So I'm hoping they introduce maybe like ancient equipment, but they already did the main hand stuff, so I don't know. But um, the building speed up item, nothing really to review there. I think it's kind of comical that they did this just because no one builds anymore. We don't need building speed ups, but I guess for new players, it'll probably be very helpful for them. Okay, now let's quickly talk about the dragon skills. So if we go to our dragon, um, obviously we have the normal skills, but now there's also this strategic skills pet. And if we go to the strategic skills, you'll actually see that you can totally do a new set. So like, for example, I have this cavalry health bonus here. It doesn't appear on my strategic skills. I would choose which ones I want from my list. And I could actually choose something that my other dragon has equipped. So let's say my reroute. Um, I actually have my reroute equipped on this one, but let's say I just took it off for a second. So now I have reroute as an army skill, but not as a strategic skill. If I go to my gray dragon, I can actually go and equip my army reroute for strategic. To be clear, not an army skill, because it's already equipped to my, my moon shadow for the army, but the strategic skill is wide open. So it is essentially allowing you to do dragon pages, where you can kind of have one set for your traditional army and another set for your strategic skills. So, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, as you can see at the bottom, it describes the strategic attribute that you get with this. So let's just go ahead and learn um, reroute. Oh, didn't go. Oh, it did go. It's just not showing up. Hold on. Okay, there it is. So what the strategic attribute says is that when a dragon with this skill is deployed, after every five normal attacks dealt by the troops that this dragon is in, there's a 20% chance to reroute 3% of the current targeted troops back to the barracks. And you can get up to 10% total. So my interpretation of that is that, you know, once you do basically 15 normal attacks, you'll get 9% through. Um, I think maybe you can get... Um, you know, if you get one more, then you'll get 1% more to go through, and then it won't work anymore. But note that it's only a 20% chance, so you're probably going to have to do a lot more than that to actually get it to reroute all of them. I don't know that this is terribly strong, but um, reroute's always good, but just a 20% chance feels pretty low uh, in the grand scheme of things. Of this grand scheme of things. So next to look at is like kind of the other basic skills. Um, I don't have any of the other ancient gear, but I'm assuming that they all have some sort of attribute that is similar to their typical army skill. But if we look at like the spearman health, you'll see that the strategic attribute is that it gives spearman health. You should notice that it gives a little bit more than the basic troop attribute. So here, the spearman max health is plus 13%, but the strategic attribute gives plus 16%. So it is a little bit better, but I think this makes sense. I mean, if you remember going back to, you know, just the basic commanders, when you talk about Siege of Winterfell, um, at least in the past, they would always give a lot more of a bonus for um, Siege of Winterfell than they do regularly. So, for example, I'm looking at his skills. Normally, he gives... 
uh, 64% cavalry health attack and defense because he's awoken. If I go to the strategic ones, he's giving 320%. So clearly a, a you know much better improvement um, on that. Um, and probably not the same ratio in the grand scheme of things. Like 64 to 320 um, is almost a five times improvement. Um, it actually is exactly a five times improvement versus, uh, you know, whatever... 16 to 18 was whatever for the dragon so definitely not as much of an improvement but you know we'll definitely take it it's something um yeah so this is nine and a half to ten kind of basically just a rounding thing at that at that point but anyway that's the big change to the dragons being added to uh, siege of winterfell so all in all definitely a really interesting update uh, like i said there's just Definitely exciting to get the new equipment. I'm glad they're adding dragons to Siege of Winterfell. Unfortunately, we don't know a whole lot more about Siege of Winterfell yet. Um, like, they haven't really updated the rules uh, to add in the dragons, so we don't know a whole lot about it. Um, I, uh, you know, I'm definitely, once they do add that stuff in, I will make a video describing all the new changes to Siege of Winterfell, and I assume in three days, once it starts, we'll get that. So, until then, my name is Tyrion Lannister, and I'll see you next time.